In this video, we will learn how to install sklearn or scikit-learn library in Anaconda. So here I will show you two different ways to install this sklearn. The first one is through Anaconda Navigator and the second one is through the Anaconda prompt or the terminal. So here I have opened my Anaconda Navigator and now to install sklearn, first of all, we will click on this environments. Then here we will see all the environments which we have created through Anaconda. So here first we will create a virtual environment for our project because it is recommended to have a separate virtual environment for each of the project. So we will also create the virtual environment first and then we will install the sklearn library inside that created environment. But in case you already have the virtual environment created for your project, then you can skip the creation part and select the environment from this list and install the sklearn library inside that environment. Now to create the virtual environment, first we will click on this create, then this dialog box will come up and here we will give the name of the virtual environment. So I will type sklearn underscore env. So this is the name of the virtual environment which we want to create here. Now from here we can select the programming language and this python would be selected already. Now from this drop down we can change the python version. So whatever version we will select from here it will install that particular version in this new environment. So for now I will keep this as it is which is this 3.12.9 and finally click on this create. So now the environment is being created. So let's wait for some time here. And now it is loading some base packages in this new environment. And finally it is finished now. And we can see our environment in this list. Now here this environment is already selected for me. But if in case it is not selected for you, then click on this and select this environment manually. Otherwise the sklearn library would not be installed in this environment. So now once we have selected the environment, we will click on this drop down. And here by default this installed option would be selected already which means that these are the libraries which are currently installed in this selected environment. Now I will close the drop down and search for scikit-learn in this search option. So I will type scikit-learn. So here we can see that we did not get anything in the search results because this scikit-learn library is not installed currently in this selected environment. So now we will again click on this drop down and this time we will select this not installed option. And as soon as we selected this not installed option, we will see all the libraries here which has scikit-learn either in the name or in the description. And in this list, we will see this scikit-learn library also which we want to install here. So we will select this from here and click on this apply. Now we will get this type of dialog box which is saying that 11 packages will be installed. So I will scroll down to the last and we will see this scikit-learn library. And all the other libraries are the dependent packages of this scikit-learn. So that's why they are marked with this star. And here also it is written that this star indicates that the package is a dependency of the selected package. So now finally we will click on this apply which will start our installation. Now finally the installation is completed and now we will verify the installation. So for that we will again click on this drop down and select this installed option. And here we already have the scikit-learn. So this time we can see the scikit-learn library here which was not present earlier. So this is the evidence that the scikit-learn library is installed successfully in this selected environment. Now we will see the another way of installing scikit-learn which is through anaconda prompt or the terminal. So if you are using windows then it would be the anaconda prompt and in case of mac it will be terminal. But the steps which I am going to show here will work exactly in the same way for both anaconda prompt and the terminal. So now I will open the terminal because for my case it is the mac system. And now once you open the terminal or the anaconda prompt this base environment would be activated by default. And now here also we will first create the virtual environment and then we will install the scikit-learn library inside that created environment. So to create the environment we will type conda space create space hyphen hyphen name space and now we will type the name of the virtual environment which we want to create. So let's say this is sklearn underscore new env and now space and now at the last we will type python equals to and now we will provide the python version which we want to install in this new environment. So I will type 3.13 because this is the latest version as of now and finally we will hit enter. And now it is saying that these many packages will be installed in this new environment. So we will type y here and hit enter. So finally it is completed now and our environment should be created. So let's verify that and for that we will list down all the environments which are managed by anaconda. So we will type conda space env space list and hit enter. 
so here we can see that our new environment is also present in this list which is this sklearn underscore new env so it means our environment is created successfully now we will activate this environment but before that let me clear the terminal once so that it would be better visible to you and now to activate the environment we will type conda space activate space and the name of the environment which was this sklearn underscore new env and now hit enter so now as soon as the command is executed we will see this sklearn underscore new env within these brackets which means that this particular environment is currently active. Now finally we will install the sklearn library in this activated virtual environment and for that we will type pip space install space scikit-learn and hit enter. And once this is installed we will see this message of successful installation. And now to verify the installation let's print all the libraries which are currently installed in the current activated environment. So we will run this command which is conda space list and hit enter. So here we will see this scikit learn library also which has this particular version. And now we will quickly try to import the scikit learn library in this python shell. So I will clear the terminal again. And now we will type python here and hit enter. So now we are in the python shell and now we will import the sklearn library. So we will type import space sklearn and hit enter. So the import is successful without any error and it took around one minute for me. And now we will also print the version of scikit-learn. So we will type print then sklearn dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore and hit enter. So here we have got the version also in this output. So this is the evidence that this sklearn library is installed successfully in our environment. Now let me know in comments if this video was useful to you and make sure to hit the like button. And for free courses you can also refer the video description.